today how are you doing i have to make sure that i'm actually stepping back so on the zoom recording it's not that you're gonna just see a half of my face eliana speak up if you're gonna see me coming close then you're just gonna see my nostrils anyway just want to make a fun entry today so today is episode number nine already can you believe it episode number nine i'm looking forward every week to meet with you because it's just I feel like this is my mission, this is my purpose, to be here with you. Even though I wanted to talk to you about it, that sometimes there is a doubt entering our minds and this is normal. But if you commit it, if you feel that you're united with what you want to talk about and what you want to teach the people about, I think you just gotta, gotta stick to it and just keep on grinding each week and each time. So I see somebody logging in on on Facebook, but I do not see the person yet. So just the better with me. I also I am on Instagram. I'm also on a Zoom. So just to give you an outline, hello, hello, just to give you an outline, like what is this page all about? What is really no excuses? Because some of you will be logging in the first time. Some of you will be seeing the Zoom first time. Some of you will just go on Instagram the first the, the first time, right? No excuses, ladies, has been created. For all the ladies like you out there who are looking for the no excuses way of life, to have a support system, to have a motivation, to have an idea how to live their no excuses life with a foundation of health to stay fit, stay strong, stay healthy for life and succeed in business and in life. Because I believe that if you have the foundation of health, if you feel good about yourself, if you feel, if you have self-belief, if you feel confident with your own skin, your own self, then you can go out there in the world and succeed. If you don't have that base, if you don't have that foundation, it's going to be hard for you. And the reason why I feel it, because I have done it myself. We moved what we believed stronger in our foundation of health with my husband and my children right now, we believe that health, that fitness is the way of life. It's almost like you can think that fitness, if you, if I think of fitness, how I see fitness in general, is that it's almost like representation of your life. In order for you to do a strong push up, you need to be committed, consistent, you need to learn the movements. You need to suffer a little bit. You need to push. You need to make some weird noses as I make them every single day, on li even live on Facebook Live. I make them, you see me posting this stuff. It's a struggle. It's a struggle with the bicep curl. It's a struggle with the push-up. It, it, fitness requires struggle and life has a struggle in it. But life can be beautiful. Life can be uh, joyful, can be happy, can be vibrant, can be awesome. Like the workouts that you do. It's the same way. I kind of see this like this. And you know, my, my, my love for fitness has been going on for many years with me. I started as a very young child. I started when I was barely, I would say 12 years old. If I go back, I started very young. That will be another episode. Just wanted to give you an outline. You know, went through anorexia, went through a lot of different hectic times in my life, but the fitness was always there. And it was my passion since the very early years, very early days. And through turbulent times when I came to America, I was doing other things, other things in life, trying to make a living, trying to uh, make the money. And I have to tell you, and I was not with my purpose for a while. And that's what makes me depressed and very anxious, very unhappy, uh, very not committed, uh, literally to the point that I, I felt like this is just not for me because I was missing the fulfilling factor in my life. And if you miss that fulfilling factor, something that it drives you every single day to do something creative, to uh, be out there for yourself, almost like out of your own skin. That's the full life. That's when you create and uh, I think discover your own self. That there is no one else around you say to you, you need to get up, you need to do this. It comes from your self-motivation. 
that's when I'm talking about. That's when your life is fully committed and fulfilled. And I know that a lot of you out there who will be watching this later might think, no, like, I don't know what's my purpose. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing in life. I feel lost. I don't know. So it will require some work. I have to tell you, it will require some work, some self digging and finding out what is that that you love to do. How I discovered this, how I find my passion about exercises. First was just exercise. First was just being healthy. I, as a child, as a young child, I wanted to lose weight. Even though I was not fat, I was not overweight. That was the first thing. Then this thing changed into, wow, I feel good. I, I like the way I look. And it might, might be for you. So you got to look at those things in life that what, what is that that you love doing? What is that that make you feel happy? What are these things? And they connect them to your daily thing and your mission. And that's how you're going to find the purpose. Something that is going to not feel like work. It's going to feel like, you know, like just a joyful living. That's the purpose. That's the mission. And sometimes you don't even know what else is coming. But through things that you're going to do, you're going to discover another way. Like I never knew that I'm going to create no excuses. This just popped in my head one day. And then I said, let me tell you, before I even go farther, I decided that I'm going to do this. And I quickly made a post, organized everything, and said, if I'm going to speak this publicly, and I don't gonna, I'm not going to follow, I'm going to look like a fool. So I even said to a friend of mine, I said to Kristen, I don't know if Kristen's going to be watching me, Anastasia is watching me. And I said, Kristen, I just did something I think very foolish. <laughs> I just created something, posted publicly, and then what the hell am I going to do? What have I done? But then I said, you know what? This is something that I wanted to do. And I, you know, it might not be perfect. I, uh, every day I make a lot of mistakes, but I just keep on going forward. Uh, I don't, uh, I, I don't, uh, uh, drown on the things that are not perfect. I just try to do my best every single day. As, as I was going into that show, I was thinking, today I was thinking, well, you know, I still have to have a reading time for about 30 minutes for myself. How am I going to accomplish when I still have so many to do, to do things on my plate, on my schedule? And that's what we're going to be talking about today. And I figured, you know what, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to organize this time in a way that I can do my best and do everything and do my best today. So let's talk about today's thing. Now, just so you know, and you have an, a general idea, uh, when you log into the page on Facebook, there is, announce, there is not announcement section, but there are rules and regulations. This page is for us to create a community. I would love for us to create a community so we can invite like-minded women who need the guidance, who need who need um, motivation, but who also need maybe some kind of a leadership and direction. Uh, because I am a coach, I am a fitness coach, I am a, a life, I can say a life coach through the mistakes and struggles and 20 years of experience myself and the clients. I am able right there on the phone to guide you, to lead you, to find the mistakes that you've been doing. I can direct you in life and spike the motivation, spike the commitment again, and restore your vibrancy. I know that I can do this, but are you ready for this? Is this work on your side? Because the commitment has to come on both sides, right? So when you come to this page and you're new to it, don't be afraid, don't be shy, introduce yourself, make a video, introduce yourself. When you scroll into the videos, you will see that some women already done it, right? I have Eliana here with me on Zoom, a Kristen done it. So write it down. Who are you? What are you looking for? What's your personal goals? Professionals, who do you need to connect? What is that that you want to achieve in, in, this, in this group? What is that that you're looking for, right? We're not here to, you know, solicit and do other things. We are here to stay united and connect with each other and help each other with certain ways because we can always learn from one another, right? And if I give you an, an, a lesson and you can take something uh, to yourself today, that's awesome. 
that's what I'm trying to get out of it because look, it's a free page, right? It's a free Facebook page. So last week we were talking about the theme of the 2021 and I mentioned to you as I always recap the previous episodes, what was the theme for me? I put it into literally fighting like a boxer, being almost having that fighter mentality. And what's yours? It would be good if you look into the, the previous episode. Why? Because it, there are some good points that you might relate to, you might find interesting, you might say, you know what, this is what I want in life, or maybe you're going to find yourself doing something totally different, but then it will spark and spike something in you, right? So that's what it's all about. So always recap those previous episodes, and of course, I send you this stuff. So now, my question is definitely ask yourself, what is going to be the theme of your year? How are you going to be acting? What actions are you going to take? But guys, not just think to think and let another year to pass by, to really put an action behind everything. Because as I mentioned to you how I did with the No Excuses Ladies, I almost went ahead of myself, not having a plan. I just almost like did a big leap. A huge, that's what I would call it, a big leap. Did not know the steps, have no clue how I'm going to do this. I just did it. And that's what you're going to do this year. And you need to really ask yourself a question. What's the theme is going to be? That's from previous week. So watch that episode. Uh, <clears throat> now, today, what I wanted to talk to you about, even though we touched on this before, I want to talk to you about morning routine and the reason why i picked the morning routine but not on the morning routine the evening routine is because i see already people lacking with the goals that they have for 2020 21 with the ideas that they have it's it's two weeks into the year and people already start slipping away are you slipping away are you already finding yourself not committing or finding excuses of not to do something it's so easy to make excuses every single day. And that's why I believe that everything almost is like a cycle, guys. I don't know what's first, the morning or the evening. That's like, what was first, the egg or the chicken? What was first? Like, I don't know these answers. I just know that they are connected. And the way how I feel is, when you go to sleep at night time, when you go to sleep earlier and not binge on TV, uh, you know, on social media nonstop, uh, overeating, watching late movies, falling asleep, waking up, you're going to get up in the morning and you're going to have a plan. You're going to get up and if you can spend 10 to 15 minutes on some kind of a self-motivation, self-study, discipline, something for your mind and put it in place, maybe organize yourself, you're good to go. You can start with 10 minutes and then you can build upon this, okay? So don't worry that, you know, I do the morning routine for a long time, but you have to have some kind of plan. And why I do this and why I'm telling you this today, because if I do that, if I do the morning routine, if I am going to schedule everything, the previous night, the previous week, I can kill my day, I can kill my week, I can kill my month. And I have time always for workouts. As we know, workouts, living strong and healthy life is the foundation of everything in life, right? We're not gonna start talking about business and building business if I see that maybe you are unhealthy, overweight, and you need help in this, in this, in this line, in, in this foundation. I just think that this strongly correlates with it because how are you gonna overcome something in business that it's gonna be thrown at you later in, in, in business, building business, like we've built Peak Physique, we've built a seven figure business and now we have other businesses that we're building, online, virtual, how you can build something like this if you cannot commit yourself to do a little bit stronger reps on the floor. That's how I see it, it's all connected. So we're going to start first this, 
condition you, build that strength, build the resilience so you can go and kill the other things. So let's start with the morning, okay? So how is your morning your routine looks like? Write it down. I see Instagram, I see Facebook, write it down. Eliana, you can even put in a chat. I know that you by yourself, but maybe write it down in the chat so people can see it later because chat is safe. Like, what is your morning routine like? Type it, maybe quick points, that would be awesome. Because I know she, she, Eliana was a part, and he is a part of Peak, and she was the team leader. She, she had to have her routine down because without the routine, she wouldn't be as successful team leader as she was. So she, she was killing the morning. She was killing the day, right? Because of the routine factor. So what is your plan? Or you just get up and have no plan. Guys, I used to, let's talk about this years ago. I would get up, I would get ready and I would leave. There was no self-development. There was no self-motivation. I always was motivated, self-motivated person, I have to tell you. I was always very ambitious, um, very ambitious. I, it was just in me. But I, I know that I would have not gone the, where I am right now without training and learning and reading the books and looking through people's lives that succeed and understand what it takes to be successful. I would have never, I don't think that we would have ever done so far and climb so far. So today I am calling on you, create your morning routine. And I'm gonna give you an example. What is, you don't need to follow my plan, but you need some kind of plan, right? intentional discipline so like Steve can have a different plan than me similar but different and yours might be too right so how are we gonna do this how are we gonna do this you have to find what works for you obviously so let's put it this way open up create even either open up a calendar or write it down on a piece of paper divide it seven days and see what is on your schedule that repeats itself. Is it work? Put it the block of time. You are at work. Uh, picking up the skits. Block of work. Whatever. You have to go pick them up, drop them off. What else is repeated on the schedule? If you want, you can put dinner on the schedule. If you want, you can put breakfast on the schedule. It's up to you. It depends how much time it takes. Now, what if you need to block every single day five to seven days a week, a time that you're going to work out. Like anything else on the schedule, time for workout has to happen. Like with me, I have those put on the schedule, but I also have so ingrained in my head that I already know when it's going to be. And I, don't, and I know that this is a block of time that I have for myself and nothing's going to happen in this time. But do it. If this is going to help you, to move forward with your day. So this is very important, okay? And that's how you're gonna win the day, win the week, win the month. That's how you're gonna be more purposeful. And also, it's gonna be organized. It's also, you know, if a friend's gonna call you and say, let's meet or let's go, you're gonna say, no, I have to work out because that's gonna become a priority for you. That's what I wanna teach you guys. That's how you find the no excuses to work out because it's so easy for people. I hear this all the time. I have no time. How on earth others have and you don't? We all have 24 hours. We run multi different businesses and I have kids. I have, I have other things that I have to do every day and yet I still have time to teach, to, to learn, to self-develop, to create. It's all on a schedule. It's all on the schedule. It's the weirdest as it sounds. And you might think, oh my God, what a robot. This girl is like, mm, 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 like this. No, it, it really helps me. And I did not understand this for a long time. Trust me on this one. I did not understand it. That I realized, you know, I put my workout on the schedule. Why don't I put something else on the schedule? Right? So now, what? once you have this, you're going to plug in the workouts. Right? Now, here comes the thing. If you're... If your schedule changes weekly, you need to do this weekly. I know that it requires work. Hey, listen, I get it. You're going to sit down and you have to spend some time on it. 
maybe every Sunday, maybe every, every Saturday. But trust me on this, once you put on this, it's gonna, you're gonna look at the calendar on Monday or you're gonna be like, wow, boom, 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 it's there. It's so much easier versus being scattered and like the, the, the day goes by and you didn't even work out, you didn't even eat. It, it, it's just scattered. I see this constantly. I'm meeting women, moms of other children, afternoon they didn't even eat a breakfast but in the same time they take care of their kids so well but they cannot take care of themselves so we're supposed to be influencers and teach our children the right way maybe if you don't have kids maybe you teach someone else right you have someone else in your in your family in your life that you're gonna teach so always think that if if you can take care of others you can take care of yourself but it has to be on the schedule so once you have this you have to all also have to think like, okay, so my goal is to lose the weight. If your goal is weight loss, let's talk about this because we want to create the foundation. Your weight loss, obviously you have to have time to prepare your food. You have to have time for the workouts. And why are we thinking about the workouts? Why is so important? As I told you, it's like a representation of the business in life. Think about the benefits of training. Think about all the benefits better energy right better metabolism be belief in uh, self-worth you have better overall better self-belief better metabolism better memory a slower aging there is so many benefits of working out and this has to be on the schedule and once you're gonna target this once you're gonna do this you're gonna run your day a little bit better and it, trust me on this one, but this again has to happen. And guys, we need to do this. We need to do this now, today, to the latest tomorrow. You have to plan this and have this done. And once you have this stuff, it's like you doing this no matter what. You committing yourself because it comes up on your schedule. It's there. What other ways to do it? I also have Google Drive files when I have things that I have to accomplish that day. So whatever works for you, maybe you want to have Google Drive, maybe not on a schedule on your on your phone. But I strongly believe it's like when it comes up notification, you're getting used to on the time blocks too. It's like, okay, time block, this is what I need to do. This is the time. You kind of look at the time and you're gonna be, oh, this is coming up. I have to get mentally ready. And and the funny thing is yesterday my daughter was working on an app she loves she really loves everything that is computerized she's very fast in creating slides and she's just like really good with computers and she's only six years old i looked at her and she was working on notes she told me that i have notes she told me that i have everything saved in my notes she told me like i was planning in my calendar she goes and i'm like what are you working on and she says, I have my checklist. I'm doing my daily routine. I'm like, I didn't even know that she did that. It was the funniest thing. I looked and she has these boxes. Get up, breakfast, uh, school. Uh, she didn't do a homework. That's the funny thing. Workout was on it. They were playing with Tyson. Uh, with her brother there were other things so I said like, where's the homework you gotta put that block of homework so you don't forget to do the homework she was doing the checklist and I said make sure that you're also gonna do listen to your mom listen to your dad follow through I said to her <laughs> I said don't forget those are important tasks she was cocking up she was like yeah <laughs> so so look it, it she just did it it was the Oh my God, it was the most awesome feeling yesterday when I saw her doing this. And it's just, that's how they grow. So look, like when we train, they come with us, they start training with us. They just like join us. And that's how it's going to be for you. Probably your kids going to start doing the same thing. Maybe they're going to get more organized with school. So think about it. Not only you, but you're going to spread it around your family, right? And that's the awesome thing. So th that was just an idea that popped in my head. I didn't even have it in my notes, but I have my notes so I wouldn't lose myself. That's how you gotta help yourself because I can bubble forever. So 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 yes, the, the morning routine. 
And when you, when you have, when I do this, and another thing is, and, and I think another important point is that sometimes the routine, things can, can happen, right? You need to adjust things. So don't be afraid to change this. Move things around. For some people, work the checklist. I did this, this, and this, right? Uh, of course, what else is in my morning routine? It's the meditation. Meditation that I do only 10 minutes. And the, the first thing when I get up and do my tea and do my breakfast, uh, which is the Herbalife shake, I do my tea, I do my aloe, I come upstairs and I do meditation. It's a simple app on your phone, Headspace, it's called Headspace, you can upload it and you can start going through the meditation. And it's, some of us will learn very quick, some of us will take longer, but just don't give up. It, you're gonna, through listening, you're gonna start realizing so many things through meditation, that your brain drifts away, that when the teacher talks to you, that you're gonna start thinking about other things, and then when it's gonna say, and now you can come back to your breath, you're gonna realize, or let the mind go, that's when you want to bring your mind to the center, which is really crazy. More awareness creates changes in your behavior. And I think that's what helped me. I've realized that I can sometimes let uh, the mind drift too much, or I would change my tasks too often. I would work on something and I would just start going into other things. So right now I am saying like this, Eva, be focused. This is what you're doing. Phone on the side. Do not touch this. Focus on this. You have an hour to do that. Sometimes I even use this to put it and check how long I talk on the phone with someone sometimes even, you know? So there are tools that you can do. What else? You have to have that breakfast. We talk about it, right? Without good breakfast, there is no good energy. You have to have good brain function. So the owl, the tea, of course, if you want information, let me know. I can send you the link and you can purchase and I can actually tell you how to do it and what to do it based on your personal needs. And after that, either I am going to read, I'm going to journal, I am going to plan, I am going to think what I want in life. A lot of people don't believe in boards. A lot of people don't believe in writing and putting some silly things like i want this and this in my life that is silliness let me tell you one thing and i'm gonna go back to this quickly when i was back in poland years ago not knowing i had created a vision board of a map a map of america i never knew that this was a vision board that having this on my wall and every day looking at it and looking exactly where I want to go, that this is a vision board. It was a reminder of my goal, what I want to do in life, that I have to, every single day, I have to do actions that will lead me there. And that's what happens, right? I'm here. I'm here standing in front of you. So somehow you asking the universe and it's just happening to you, but you can write it down, but don't be afraid to dream and don't be afraid to write those things down. But then it requires an action. It's like writing it down. I wrote things down and then I never took an action on, you know, but why? Maybe I didn't feel it enough. It has to be something connected to the feeling. It cannot be like someone else's dream cannot be something that was just like temporary. It has to be something that, oh my God, this is my dream. That's what I want to do. Like it has to be repeated and you can do this every single day in the morning. And I wrote, write those things. And I have a little notebook that I write those things. And I had weeks that I haven't written anything, but I like it. Few words, maybe Maybe it can be also something that you want to change in your in you. It can be anything that you want to do. So that would be like that morning. Now, if I go and train in the morning, I spend 10 minutes still on my, on my 
meditation. I spend that 10 minutes and then I go and prepare my pre-workout and I go and teach or I train myself. If I teach, I already have a breakfast, I already bread, my mind is clear, I know what I'm going to attack after that hour and it's scheduled and it's got and it's going. I'm not saying that things cannot change. Things happen. Things come out. Sure. But that purpose that you have for that day has to happen. Once you're going to have this, then you're going to be moving with your life. Now, why tie this to the more the evening routine? Because in the evening, you need to kind of look at your wins. And that's why we were posting. I posted this, this the morning routine, the evening routine, maybe asking yourself a question. How your day was. We posted this. This is one of the episodes that we have the morning and evening. Please look at this. You might copy and paste this into your phone. Maybe every day you can do this morning and then evening. Because you know what? It's like sometimes if you don't, if you don't do this like the wins and the victories and the accomplishment, we forget. But also, I think most important is like you're gonna see, okay. What did I do specific for this day that really made that day awesome? Maybe I was organized. Maybe I had a great plan. Maybe I fulfilled what I supposed to do. I accomplished so many good tasks that move my needle, either towards your weight loss, towards your business. And you write them down and they feel like, wow, you feel like good. You have the internal feeling of like, I did it, right? And that's how you go to sleep. But if you don't, acknowledge this I believe that you feel like another day you know another day passed by it's nothing happened because you did not put a grateful moment I think for yourself acknowledge maybe the people that you talk to that you contact that you feel good about those little things matter in life and that's how you get that momentum that's how you get that good feeling that's how you get that vibrant feeling I think that's what it is so closing the day we almost have like an opening routine I would even call it the morning routine the opening routine and then the closing routine and I see Ita here hi Ita I just saw you right now the closing routine like closing on the day and you know what else I've realized I'm like bad I can tell it to you like why I stop doing this? Uh, because I I think I did I I don't appreciate so many things that I do on myself. Like I can do so many things, and I feel like I did not do nothing. Like sometimes I would feel like I didn't do anything, but in the meantime, I did so many. I did for the clients. I did for my children. I did for my husband. I did for my family. But then I don't acknowledge it. And then I think all these months passed by, what have I done? I, I don't know. I forget. Do you ever have that moment that you're like, what have I done? But if you write those down, you will not feel better. Because it's appreciation of yourself. Because what if somebody comes around and say, you know what? You suck. You don't do anything. But then you're going to remind yourself and you're going to be like, wait a second. I did this, this, and this. That's not true. Maybe you think like this, but it's different. With me, I did so much. This is what I have done. So it hasn't been that bad. Maybe I made some mistakes along the way. Maybe I wasn't perfect, which perfect doesn't exist. But I did those things, right? So that's what happened to me. I realized that I was not taking credit for all of this stuff, a lot of it. And then you feel like, okay, it's not enough, but it, but sometimes it's like you are enough. You just need to like appreciate a little bit more. Maybe sometimes we need to take a little bit more action. So let's call this opening routine and closing routine. That's going to be our term. So what's your closing routine? Do you just go to sleep or you think about something? You Maybe you write, you journal, you close your doors and put things down. It's so important. Guys, another thing is that quiet mind because life can be so busy, so distractions. You close the eyes, you close the door and you're going to say, 
what have I done today? And again, for me, it comes to my mission, helping women, directing them, saving one life, helping this person not to give up on themselves. That's a victory today. Okay. If I was able to dig someone out from a cell phone that they've had, that they've gotten into no excuses mind. Our mind is crazy, can do crazy stuff to you. But if I was able to direct that person into a better path, that's a victory. That's a good thing for me. But then what about you? Because all of us have different lives. We have different jobs. We have different things. So ask yourself, how my evening routine is going to look like? Am I going to write a few things? Am I going to schedule my next day? Maybe you're going to do meditation. We fall asleep with the meditation as well. But it's 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And to tell you the truth, I am not even knowing what this person is talking about in the evening. I am just going to sleep. The, the Andy, Coach Andy talks and magically, I don't know, it's done. But then our days and our nights that Andy talks and I am just falling asleep and then out of nowhere I'm waking up and I'm like, is this morning or what happened? And I look at it, it was just the end of the meditation. <laughs> so it's pretty funny how it works. But the closing of your day, so important. And if you want to really win that day, maybe for you, the opening routine will be getting up earlier and doing the workout. If you know that your schedule is so hectic, everyone can become a young person. There is no doubt in this. And how are you going to do this? By going to sleep earlier. Might be hard in the beginning, but now you have to have everybody on board if you have children. Get them on board. Because if you don't, you might be having a difficult time to fall asleep if the house is on crazy, chaotic action. Kids screaming, no. Discussion, what's happening? Maybe you have to close the door and go to sleep. But you need to have the downtime earlier. And why? Because you're going to miss on important parts of your sleep. And we can touch on this another episode when I'm going to explain it to you why it's so important to go to sleep earlier. Because there are parts of the, the sleeping pattern that if you miss, you're not going to have a good night's sleep. So that's why when you go to sleep earlier, you get up earlier. But if you go to sleep late, your natural body clock is already missed the, the most important part of your brain recovery. And a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people will go to sleep at 12, midnight, and they're missing on that important uh, sleep part. So, so that's important. Now, Ita, what, was, what is your opening routine? What is your closing routine? Write it down in the chat so uh, some other ladies can see it. Write it down. If you don't have it, listen, it's okay. Write it down. You know what? I don't have it. I have to figure it out. You guys write it down too. I see Instagram. I see Facebook. Write it down. What is it? Write it down. Unless you want to speak, you can even unmute yourself and let me know what this was. Just, uh, yeah. Yes? Let's see if Ita can unmute herself. So, hello. <laughs> so what is the opening? What is the closing one?
before I did. I've been doing it for a very long time, and then I took a break for a couple of months. Mm-hmm. Um, I do it for, I started about three weeks ago, I'd say. Okay, nice. And which app are you using? The same one, as I mentioned? No, I use the Breathe app. I had that one as well, but I use an app called Breathe. I oh, okay. I love it. You love it. Okay. Yes. And again, look, everybody has their own thing, right? We've been using Headspace for quite some time. And uh, I started recently also doing the tapping techniques, which I can share with you in some other episodes. It's a very interesting thing uh, that I learned a long time ago, but I have not been practicing. And I figured, you know what, it's a good thing to add to your routine to just see the impact of it. So what about evening routine, Ita? Anything in the evening? Early, yes. Early. Um, 8.30, like 9 o'clock, I'm sleeping. You're sleeping. Yes, you go to sleep very early to get up early. Absolutely. So you see, she applied the get up morning. Somebody was saying that they are reading in the morning, not consistent. Some other, some other people say, hey, listen, so you have to ask yourself a question where it's not consistent, right? What is that that you're getting distracted? Usually, guys, there are distractions. There's nothing else other than the distractions in our life that get us away from what we have planned. And it's overall, it's very easy to create one. So, uh, Ita, do you think that, what do you think about closing routine? Writing a little things down in the evening and like closing the day and risk, kind of looking into your day, how your day was. What do you think about that? I think it's great. Another thing that I actually just remembered is I have a whole series of, I'm in the middle of reading a certain book right now, which is on gratitude and appreciation. I've been doing this for very many years. I, okay. I, I, I It changed me completely. And what's the name um, of the book, if you can share with us? Sure. It's called Living at Mona. It's a Jewish book. It's about, um, it, it's just believing and trusting. Okay. And um, I actually have, I learn with my mother every night. So like, this is something we don't miss. She'll call me or I'll call her. And she's like, are you home from work yet? Is it a good time to learn? And we learn this one and a half to two pages every single night. And it's, it's incredible. Wow. And it talks about, yeah. It talk, I used to have most of my sisters on, a couple of my you know family members, but... That just fell apart like a year ago, and now it's just my mother and me, and it's just like very quiet time, intimate time together. It's just like 10 minutes, and then we get to chat a little bit. How was your day? How was your day? What did you do? That's it. That's it's awesome. So nice. And what it, yeah, what it really talks about is appreciation and, and realizing. It's, it's really, it's, it's opening your eyes to seeing the beauty and the gifts that we have and, and little things that we take for granted. That it's, it's incredible. Oh wow! Me, it was a life changer. That's beautiful. If you could put in a in a chat in a comment as well, the name of the book, so others sure. can of course see it. Because I know you see, like we learn from each other. We learn because and the reason for it, why we're gonna learn and why you're gonna learn in this group is because we come with the very hungry, uh, hungry attitude. And I think if you come with that hunger and the attitude, that's when you get it, right? That's when you, you search. So if you are in a search mode to find something good, something different, you're going to find it. And this is the group for you to join somebody else. Join it right now. And Sharon, hello. And that's, you can learn it. You can learn from her. That that's what she's doing. This is great. And I have to tell you that we've had, I purchased two books. Of my, for my children a long time ago. It's a gratitude journal. There are two gratitude journals. And for Ivanka, it was more like a coloring and like writing a few sentences because she's young. Tyson needs a more intense book because she, he's nine. He's going to be 10. And they started doing it. And now, as you mentioned this, and I've realized I have my routine, but today, we're going to find this book because they were doing this on, on their own for a while and then they stopped. Because I 
feel like if you're gonna do this as a family, it's gonna be much better. So I have just right now self opening that all of us gonna do this. All of us, because you can do this at the table when you eat dinner with your family. Ask everybody how your how your how your day was. What are you appreciative of right now? What are you grateful for right now? Uh, how what were your victories today? You can ask this. But writing it down and then maybe at the end of the year looking through, that's going to be eye-opening for you. Maybe some creation that you came up with. Maybe something just significant that you did, right? So work on the closing routines with yourself, with your family. Work on the opening routines so you guys have a better life. I learn these things. Listen. That was not me years ago. As I mentioned it, I was not born with this. This is something that we've learned. We've learned through being coached. We've learned through reading books. Because books of famous people will show you. That's what the person did. There is a gold, gold mine in those books. If you're gonna take it in and start applying, your life will change. Your life significantly will change, but we need to do this. This is the action. Like you showed up today, you took the action, right? But a lot of people find an excuse that they don't have time, they are too busy, that they're not gonna learn anything. They stop themselves before they even try. They stop themselves before they even try. And this is the worst thing that can happen to a human being. Just try and see what it's going to take you. What's the worst could happen? Who says this? Eliana Veras. Grand Cardone. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. So you learn those things, right? They become like a thing that you say. So my friends. My ladies, friends, maybe the guys, because I don't know, on Instagram, I'm not saying, guys, we, sometimes our Instagram account, it's like you don't even know if it's a, it's a guy, it's a girl, you're not sure, uh, we have different names, we're trying to figure out, so guys and girls, ladies, uh, gentlemen, whoever is watching, work on your opening, work on your closing your routine, what is the one thing that you got it out of this meeting today, one thing, just write it down, what was the most significant thing that maybe I said, and it was like, boom, this is catchy. I'm going to remember this. Maybe I have to implement this. And one more important thing, what I would like to do. As you know, I invite people. This is just an episode number nine. I have few invitations. We have few guests here with me, coaches, right? But my question to you is, what is that that you would like me to talk? I wanted to ask you though, even though sometimes because we don't know ourselves, we cannot ask for either help or we cannot ask specifically. People will tell me, I don't know. But maybe based on your AM routine, evening routine, maybe, maybe the stuff that is going on with your life, you can say, you know what, this is my struggle. But a lot of times, again, people don't know their struggle even too. Uh, today I was on a call and this is a common thing again where I see people don't know their purpose. People don't know what they're good with. People don't know and you might have this. But let me tell you, you will find it. As I mentioned to you, what is that that you love? What is that that you're passionate about? What is that feels like you can do this forever and ever and it will never feel tiring to you? What is it? Once you're going to find this thing, then you make a commitment and say, you know what, I'm good at this. This is what I'm going to do. And But here comes the one thing. You're not going to have every single answer answered. You're not going to know most likely how you're going to do that thing fully, like broken down in pieces. You, you're not, you might not have a plan exactly, but you're going to know that you have a commitment, that you're going to 
have something that you're gonna do this that you're gonna commit yourself that you're gonna fulfill yourself that you're gonna just do these things and then as once the commitment is there once you want decided a hundred percent that you are in everything will fall into the right place but i would like to know from you please submit those questions to me today on the page on our uh, no excuses ladies page and you guys can send me the m and then i can on instagram and i can i can do that as well because i've been doing this on instagram however this page was created on facebook but i can always go live and invite you to send you a zoom link so i see that people have their own preference right some people like to go on zoom some people on instagram some people on facebook and it's fine totally fine with me just want to get to the bottom of it so have more even topics to dig in more topics to discuss more topics to help you all right so ladies thank you so much for joining me today let's meet next week and again feedback on the page please post it underneath that video especially that the video is still going on and again thank you for joining thank you have a no excuses